Well, the thing is here, as you can clearly see, we're running it back once again. The pressure is on both of them for different reasons. Pressure to keep bandits in this fight and equalize and get that final, final game. And Bonchan, well, you have the ability to close this one out. That's it, right? No pressure indeed, I should say, wink, wink. But again, both of these guys have been in a position before. Capcom Cup finalists, Capcom yes. Cup champion, EVO 2019 finals. So it's going to be phenomenal to see. This could potentially be the very last game. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I got to hear it one more time. Who likes FAV gaming? Make some noise for the Japanese gods of fighting game one time. Now, this one is a no-brainer. I feel like I shouldn't even really be asking this question because I've heard it myself. Who here is in favor of the Bandits? Huge support from the crowd, regardless of who they're rooting for, but we do have some fan favorites here. But hey, you're going to need to share all your energy, keep the energy up for Men at RD. It's a tall order, but it's nothing that he hasn't done before. Yes. Running it back. This it truly is like a, uh, like a gift of the gods. I didn't mean to like uh, run no, you legit. over on that one, but it, it truly is like a spectacle to even witness it live in person. Because I would love to even check you guys out over at EU in person or even Japan in person. But again, you guys get this live and in full effect. So again, before we get into it, sincerely, for all of the teams involved, let me hear you pump it up for these players. Yo, round of applause for our finalists, Bandits and FAV Gaming, just one more time. It's all you, Jammers. We're going to kick it off with the mirror once again. These guys have been having that amazing rally of adaptation, defensive choices, neutral interactions. They keep this as fundamental as can be before they introduce that tinge of disrespect. That shows how much admiration they have for each other there. Let's see who gets the first exchange in terms of a drive rush cancel. Perfect parry on the sandblast, and he perfect parry. Damn, right back at him as well. There you go, these guys are seeing it. Straight to the corner. And he goes for the overhead kick from the Avenger. Interesting. You know that connect from that height. Yeah, when he drive rush forward, it still gets yeah. uh, space for oh, the pop off him. Off the perfect flash knuckle. That was lucky. Good jump, medium punch to keep Bonshan caged in the corner here. Oh. And making sure he gets no button into a drive rush. The grab again. Focus now. OD uppercut, spending the rest for the dunk as well. Now it looks like he just wants the space so he can walk out safely instead of doing the OD uppercut and then dry rushing behind that. It's yeah. three bars either way what you're going to be spending. Makes sense. Put on another grab. Very, I was going to say, very explosive from both ends, both defensively and offensively. Oh, again, that was a delay on the cross with medium punch. Going for the eraser for level two already. I mean, the screen carry on this is pretty prevalent, so it's a very wise choice there. And I think like Mena tried to backdash or hold up. Try to escape to no avail. There's the safe jump. Now it's Bonchan's turn. It's him in the toes. It is now Bonchan's turn. Oh, again, with that delayed oh. crouch, medium punch on defense there from Mena. He drive up. No, he's just walking it out. Ooh. Rush in, back throw. It looks like he's trying to press a button there. He's delaying it as well. Nice staggered jab. Walking it down. Air to air with the jump. Medium punch as well. He's going to try and take as much damage away for it. He needs to convert into a big oh, combo. Man. At that, at that point in time, Von Chan not afraid to take that risk. He had a pretty significant life lead, but Ben RD, if he had landed that overhead, it would have been pretty big damage considering his bar below as well. Oh. So he's got level three, but he's still got level two to work with. And the interruption there from Mena RD. Trying to get the throw tech. Almost got the perfect parry there. Jumps away. I think that looked like Bonchan wanted to do a cross cut, uppercut, but it didn't quite work out. So Mena's going to take advantage of this. Throw tech now. Ooh. Just waiting it out. Oh, it's so scary just being in this position, so, clo so close to the crotch and medium punch. Back yeah. throw. He just needs any sort of link. Yeah, any sort of link. Jeez, and he got it. He got more than enough to even after the second one. All right. Taking it to the beat down there with the Super Art 3, putting one game on the board here, one step closer to the equalizer. It's kind of crazy how everybody's so familiar with Memphis all of a sudden. I know, right? Crazy. 
People never even travel to the States, but they know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right there on the screen. Anyways. <laughs> Drive rush forward again, still trying to fish with that cross of medium punch, but RD using the stop side of a medium kick. Shamblaster at exact same time, their minds are in sync, but it is Mena RD that gets the conversion into the rising uppercut and still decides to close the distance here. I like that he walked into that stand fist and blocked it. Nice staggered pressure, you don't lose too much. Dry gauge from blocking lights it is very frustrating, but... Yet again with the clash of Sandblast. Trying to get a perfect carry into a heavy button. It looks like Bonchan, if it's not a true block string, stack oh, is the crouch in medium kick. This is huge. What's he going to do to defense? Takes a grab this one. time. Another. Oh, you saw it. We all thought it, really. Then RD successfully goading Bonchan into a very critical error. As their mind game's happening on screen, there's a much more dangerous mind game happening in their minds when they got Bonchan trapped in the corner as opposed to Mena RD, I've noticed. Ooh, ooh. In the last couple of rounds, and it seems to be working out in Mena's favor right now. Tap parry does not get punished. Oh, that could have been a huge punish as well. Another with throw, man. Mena RD is throwing out every single wish in the well. I mean, sometimes it can work, sometimes it doesn't. It's the grab. Let's see, trying to perfect parry. Uppercut. Doubt. Almost mirror images of how the rounds have ended. And if it's not in a block string to try to stop the drive rush cancel pressure, they're most likely going to do their OD uppercuts in the corner. Speaking of which, that's what it, that's the other way they're doing the OD uppercuts. He keeps going slam dunk. Interesting usage yeah, of meter. From the he's the only one that's been doing it all week, I think. Or actually all season. Well, unless he's going to kill. Nice. Knocked down there, and that looked very safe. Unless he's going to kill. No one else really does it. From what I've noticed, anyway. Delay throw attack. Dangerous territories we're walking in. Away on the stand medium kick as well. Bonchan needs to readjust his spacing to try and deal with that stand medium kick, but he's trapped in the corner, so he's got other things to think about. What a backdash read against the throw. Single yeah. hit. The big check into the level three. Not gonna necessarily kill, but it puts Bonchan in another dire situation. Could be a guess for game. Oh, you could just hold it. Yeah, it takes the crowd. Keep him low on drive gauge. They're both from a low on drive gauge, but it is Mena with a healthy life lead here. A humongous one at that. So he oh, can no. take a combo here. And he's going to have to cash out. He will have to do it. That's probably the CA version as well. So he gets to regenerate as little as possible while taking away two stocks from Mena. What's the big choice going to be? Does he want to go 2 0 up or is he going to wait? He's going to wait. He's safe here near the corner. Oh, and immediately changing up the situation for the drive gauge and, uh, for both. He can't be too... Oh, oh he can't dude. be too what? He can't I, be too eager. I was about to say... He can't be too anxious. <laughs> I was about to say he can't be too obvious and try to close the gap with a drive rush or something. But even then, he was mixing in different versions of the Sandblaster. You thought he was going to take a moment of pause. And when you saw that, that's when Bonchan thought he found his opportune moment. But Mena, again... They're high level. Some of the strongest loot players you see in the world in course in those situations, depending on what it is. You're going to think of the exact same wavelength in terms of how they want to oppress you, as well as how you're going to counter. And there's another OD uppercut to interrupt some pressure. 2 0 here in this anchor match once again between these two. You might get six games in a row. Let's see how it goes. It's looking like it right now, and a little bit of a stagger again into the Carlton Jazz. Off of that counter hit. Still yeah, making him pay that fee just in case if he wants to get out of that corner. Still hasn't been able to get the perfect parry on the heavy knuckle, though. I like that he's holding the parry. No drive reversal from that, though. Well, he got a perfect parry off of something. Yeah, that's what it is. As long as you get the perfect parry in the right situation at the right time, it's all good. No anti-air, surprisingly. Did not you? Even a crouching heavy. Have you seen how laser-focused these guys are on the ground? I don't blame him for not anti-airing. What? Oh, oh what a time. I don't know, Men RD kind of like shook up in his seat. I don't know if he wanted to do that overhead. Uh, Pretty far. Not. From there, gets the back throw, positional advantage in Mena's favor. He can turn this round around in this scenario. Bonchan doesn't want to put himself in burnout unless it's going to be a hit Ooh. confirm or something. Word! <gasps> oh my! Throw. Hang on a minute, someone's going to have to take a risk. They're walking it out here, one button will do it. As soon as green happens for anybody on the drive gauge, best believe it's going to be an OD or a They've drive They've still rush. got level ones available. Oh boy. They oh dear, that's scary. And there's the drive rush. Ah, oh, and so you thought Bonchan also thought it was his turn, but no, he was way too close. Great reactions from NRD. 
I think he set up the position to kind of see that drive rush coming there. Good that he checked it with the light kick there, but he can actually put his team in a very good position, and he's confident with that as well. Oh my god, it's all falling apart for Bachan! Men RD establishing that life lead early, getting that drive gauge back as well. What's the choice now for Bonchan on defense? Okay. Very deep uppercut. He's not deterred by the situation here, and that is going to close it out because he's going to get the flash knuckle into the 20 points to equalize for Team Bandits here. So that means we're at 60 apiece, Vicious. Oh my god. They heard our cries, man. We want more Street Fighter? Guess what? NRD delivered. He said, you got it. The Bandits, stay alive! To bring ourselves into another big dilemma. The Bandits, they gotta switch it up now. They gotta switch sides. Major deliberations. And this is it, because we saw this in you guys' SFL at one point. This has probably happened with us, according to my memory. But dude, again, <laughs> the back and forth. You sure? <laughs> uh, I should be sure. The back and forth these guys had as well. But I, I noticed there were a lot more situations this time around, similar to the previous encounter these guys had, that Bonchan capitulated over Mena RD. And I think he thrives off that, the crowd energy, the kind of precarious situation that Bonchan's always in and the panic that he might be feeling. But he was pretty composed in a lot of situations, yeah. even when he was at a huge life deficit there. Turning things around, and we, again, we saw a lot more of the uppercuts in neutral, or sorry, to counter drive rush cancel pressure on wake up. He From was again, time primarily. Yeah, and you notice as well, he's getting a bit too aggro, a bit too uh, impatient there with the drive rushes, and because Mena had a huge success rate with checking a lot of drive rushes. Different buttons, by the way, crouch medium <laughs> kick, crouch medium punch, stand light kick at one point as well. Everything where it mattered as well. And notice how those drive rushes with no co context came with when um, Bonchan was low on health or needed to turn around the game in his favor. We saw that Mena identified that, and boy, did he count it in style. Right, keeping himself within that range was the big, if you look at it, right, if you look at the replays itself, uh, even from the VAR from the very beginning, you're looking at the spacing that Mena RD has taken in consideration of the drive gauge and the life from Bonchan. So it's a very good awareness, good call out there from Jammers as well, but most of the time you're looking at it, Mena RD looking at complete control, even in the moments where it was a single hit left for either competitor. You can see it there, throwing it out, thrived off that energy. And there, that perfect parry. Even when situations are not good for him, he can still make things work out. And then there's those grabs, taking it in there as well. And I don't think we, we only saw level threes this time round. I don't think we saw any level twos or level ones. It was really to just, let's firm and get the big damage here, because mm -hmm. that's where we were going to strike the real fear into our opponent. And then this is ex I was worried because I thought one of those would do a Vulcan Ooh. Blast, but Bonchan was too close because he's going to try and do something else. But Meta beat into the punch there. To the kick, that like kick, yeah. That's what you do. I love that jump. Oh my way. god, yeah. I, it still surprises me seeing it again. What happened here? So yeah, just baited because he thought our uppercut was going to come out. And then he just flinched. Is all it took because again, that was... You could see, you could see the expression on Bonchan's face. He was like, I guessed. I guessed, man. But it was beautiful that... Mena goes for a shimmy there or a throw bait there because it's too close to the corner and Bonchan already knew what was happening into the corner when we were on that side of the screen. He wasn't really winning many exchanges. He said, okay, 